The next. Now, two individuals. Patience and coffee. Do we have any coffee here? Okay, I have a coffee. Please, can you stand up for us a bit? Any patience? Sister Pat? Any Sister Pat? Oh, or, or you are Brother Pat? Sister Pat, please, can you just be outstanding for us? Okay. Now, let's say that... Uh, no, go back. Brother Kofi has been given 1,000. Brother, uh, Sister Patience has been given 3,000. Which of them is better off? Who is better off? Any hand? Okay, tell us. Sister Pat. Sister Pat is better off. True or false? Oh, how? Please, can somebody explain? Okay, if you are at the bank, let's say that Kofi is earning 1,000 a month. Patience is earning 3,000 a month. Who is better? Yes, please. The thousand. Why? So if I give you thousand and three thousand here, you pick thousand. Oh, okay. It 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 means that the prayer is working. Anybody? Okay, which one would you take? Patience. Patience, why? Because she earns more than coffee. Okay. So who's better off? Patience is better off than coffee. Please any contra view. Okay, they are saying that patient is any more than you. Please, you can have a seat. Don't be angry on anybody's answer, okay? Let's see how it happens. The next slide, yes, this one. Let's say that, no, please, one, one step, one step back. Kofi earns a thousand, spend 800, invest 200. Patients got 3,000, spend the 3,000, invest zero. Please, who is better off? Kofi is better. Yes. So what happens between Kofi and Pat? At the first level, we say Pat is better. But on the attitude level, we say Kofi is better. Please, this is not an issue of how much you are earning. It's about how you display your attitude with money. Hello. So as we speak now, today is 10th. Five days more for salaries in Ghana to finish. Are you here? Or oh, some of you, you have finished yours already. 15th of every month, salaries are finished. The next 15 will take some magic. Some cut and paste, high purchase and borrowing and whatever. I sit in the bank every day and I know what I'm telling you. Now, when you come to the bank to make a withdrawal and your salary is credited 3,000, you may see that, oh, this one is my junior staff. He is taking 1,000. You may feel like you are better off, like pattern, coffee scenario. But it is not like that. When you leave the bank, inside the bank room, you are better. But when you leave the bank, that cannot be true forever. It will depend on what you do and display your attitude. If you have the attitude that can create wealth, this coffee can invest 200. In a year, let's say that an average of returns is 20%. At the end of the year, the 200 becomes 220. But patients will invest zero. At the end of the year, 20% of zero is zero. So in the moment of eventuality, or in the moment of any emergency, Pat will go and borrow. He will go for loans. But because Kofi has been able to save 200, that has yielded another 20 ganases on it, making 220. On an emergency, you can walk into your investment account, take the money and solve yourself. Nobody will hear your story. They will not even know how much you earn. But the one who has taken the 3,000, blow it away. You say, please, eh, me watch me. Please, how much? I will pay 50 cities. Now, when you do not give, they say that, oh, nipo, nipo, nipo. But is it true? You have messed up your life. And you want to blame it on your fellow friend, Christian brothers. Oh, when I went in, the Bible says, when we are in need, our friends will help. I will be your friend's neighbor, whatever and whatever. They will quote all the biblical concepts for you. But the reality is that the person perhaps is any more than you. But because of the attitude and mindset, instead of living in wealth, he's living in scarcity. Let's move on. I may be ending now. Positive mentalities or attitude to look out for. One of them is nomadic mentality. 
nomadic mentality and attitude is that if you have it, you look for greener pastures only. It's like the nomads, how they, they take their cattle around. They say, okay, there is grass here. Let's bring our cattle to feed here. They will not build a house there. They will finish their grass, relocate. These people are never stable. If you make a mistake and marry somebody with nomadic mentality, the day your beauty will disappear, the marriage will end. Hello? Because they want only the juicy part of it, not the other side of it. Now, the next group is the victim mentality. This attitude are for those who think that somebody owes them a world. Somebody owes me a future. My uncle will have to. It is my daddy who cater that for me. It is my great-grandfather's friend. Somebody is responsible for my well-being. If you have this attitude, it doesn't matter how long you pray. You and poverty will be friends forever. Number three, materialism. Materialism. Whatever comes, oh, the new latest, that is what they are looking for. Such a person do not have any taste to think, oh, I need to invest and save something for the future. In case. What arrives is what they are buying. The new uh, the watch in town. The new shoe in town. The new wig. I think who's wearing wig? And you are not wearing wig. Yes. But they crave for these things because it is about their satisfaction that they have a lot of materials. To the extent that some even bought some that they can't even use. Later they will come and remove and say, Oh, now to my way, now me the ye be man me and ti. Now it is not fitting me. All of those stories is out of this mentality. The next one is the civil servant mentality. Civil servants. Anybody who earns salary and think that it is your salary that will make well or make the future for you better, you have this mentality. Very, very deadly. In fact, in the next five days that I talked about, the rest of the days, they will start checking their phones. Hey, now, I said, you know, hey, now, they start mentioning names. Oh, that the Ben message me back. In fact, some of them will go to the bank, 30F, in the morning, waiting for the salary to hit. This is civil servant mentality. Hello. And they blame the government so much. So much. Because they think that it is the government that holds their livelihood. But if you live beyond this, and perhaps you have a better attitude, you realize that it does not take the government to run U.S. It takes entrepreneurs. In fact, you all know uh, Kwame Despite. At what age? 60. He ordered what? Is it Bugatti or which one? A lecturer, professor, doctor, reverend, with reverend on top, anointing, whom anointing is bad. 65, his suit broke with many titles. So, what's Christian? Sometimes I know that you'll be thinking, oh, Nami, I haven't gone to school so much. I haven't done this. No, it is your mindset. That is why we started with the attitude. The moment you have utterly programmed your mind that I can't win, it is true, you can't win. But when you say that, yes, this wealth thing, I can create it, it doesn't matter. If you have the attitude, you create it. I now know that they address him as Dr. Dr. Despite. I don't know which of the PAD has read. But because he has made it in life, people will address him with the titles. I pray that one day, they will ask some doctors by force to your name. Yes, irrespective of the family you are coming from. Use the right attitude, and the future is waiting for you to happen. The consumer mentality. Let's move because of time. Let's move to the next slide. I, I think I should be ending now. Yes, the right mentality. The right mentality is investment mentality. And how does it work? When you check Ecclesiastes 11, 1, it says something about it. Allow your money to work for you, casting your loaf upon the waters, you apply the law of multiplication. Anything that comes to your hand, any resource, you want to multiply it before you spend some. But if you are a consumer, you finish everything and wait. One day it will come. Let's move to the next slide because of time. Making the cash formula. Those of you who are poor and those of you who continue to be poor, 
Please, this is the formula we are all being taught. Income minus expenditure equals to savings. Hello? I take. The monthly expenses are like this. If you subtract it, you will see that you are in debt. Unless, of course, you say, okay, this one that I can't buy this year, let me push it to another month. Please do you get it. Now, if you want to be financially free by creating wealth, the next formula is what you use. The income you get, you subtract how much you should invest, and the rest you spend. Hello. Christian brothers, do you see this formula? It's a wealth creation principle. And principles do not value anybody's opinion. Principles are principles. Hello? Somewhere I told somebody. He asked the question, I said yes. You may not have read some physics and whatever, but there is a law called the law of gravity. If you believe in it or not, you climb a height, leave yourself. When you hit on the floor, you realize that, oh, okay, there is something called a principle of gravity. So principles are principles. It doesn't matter whether you are a pagan, you are a Christian or not. If you don't follow the principle, you can pray, you can fast, and you will be poor. And I said, a poor Christian who is anointed is annoying. <laughs> now, let's move to the next slide. I think I should wrap, wrap up. Next slide. Okay, I'm showing you the how. Some will be asking how much of the amount I received that should I invest? Hello? If you refer to Genesis, Genesis in the Pharaoh's dream, Joseph went and he was interpreting the dream. The Bible says that God says in the bumper season, save one fifth. Are you here? This is a statement of wealth creation. Save one fifth, and the reason is that a lean season is coming. That if you do not make this provision, that year will come, you will forget that you have ever had some harvest. All of our lives, when I sit and I was listening to uh, our speakers, they're missing some aspect of our life. Everybody is living multiple of lives, and anyone that you fail affects the other. He missing career life and ministry, she missing social life, she missing. Another one, spiritual life. But what I'm telling you is your financial life. Hello? The moment you fail your financial life, the others are at stake. And remember, wealth is health. Are you here? How poor you are determines how healthy you are. Oh, because the food you want to eat, you can't get it because you are poor. When you want to sleep, you can't get there to sleep because you are poor. So it's going to influence. Sometimes you even see some of them on the road. They are talking to themselves. Not that they have gone mad though, but poverty is talking to them. And they have to by force respond. Oh. <laughs> now, how to apply in the cash uh, making process, I just want to sh share with you one rule. The rule of 70-30. This rule says that any income that comes to you, please you are entitled to spend not more than 70%. I'm repeating. The rule is saying that any income you receive, you are not entitled to spend beyond 70%. If you do, you know the results. 
you and poverty will continue. Now, what do you do? The first thing is your tithe. Please, Zion, do we believe in tithe? We do. Do we pay? That's another big question. Please, if you are paying, continue paying. Because somebody from another church, but the same body of Christ, is telling you that with my knowledge, my, my knowledge in the industry for over seven years, I'm telling you that if you do not pay your tithe, because tithe is a form of investment. If you do not pay your tithe, sometimes things that happen in your life in the month, they even take more than the 10%. Tithe is a form of an investment. So, so far as we believe in it, there are some other sectors may not believe in tithe paying. But if we believe in it, please go ahead. That 10% is for your tithe. The next 10% is for your emergency fund. Please, how many of us here met us at Across? Last year, was it last year? Last year we met at Across. Amy Zion Church Youth Conference at Across Eastern Region. Oh, okay, let me ask the question this way. How many of us have an, an emergency account? No. Okay, somebody is saying that he has a Momo account. Okay, okay. Please, any more? Oh, let's say that we are handed here. It means that we are here to start the financial journey process. Please, I want to check to know that maybe our average age is 25. Average age here will be 25. Two of us. Oh, I know there are outliers. Maybe if you count Mr. and Co., Reverend and Co., they will be. But the individual is not the average. So the average age will be 25. Or you are 80 years. Okay. Now, we're 25 at age. What it means that you are already behind time. As far as wealth creation and financial freedom is concerned, you are already behind time. In fact, when I was informed that the younger group was leaving, what I told myself that I wish they had listened. If they can listen to relationship at that age, but I cannot listen to money. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's another thing. Now, Warren Buffett, how many of us know Warren Buffett? You have read, maybe you might not met him. Like, I did not meet him, but to some extent, I say I know him. Please, you have met him. What is his favorite quote? You don't know. Please, uh, who was he that you know? Okay. Some time ago, he was the richest man in the world. It was after him that Bill Gates took over. But who taught Bill Gates? It was Warren Buffett who taught Bill Gates, and he overtook him. Now, as we speak now, a la Max, Bill Gates was overtaken by Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos also has been overtaken by Alan Max. See, this is competition. When uh, Warren Buffett was the richest man in the world, a journalist went to him and said, Warren Buffett, being the richest man in the world, do you have any regrets? Could you imagine the richest person in the world say yes? Warren Buffett said yes, I did have, I do have a regret. The journalist asked, Buffett, what is the regret, the richest man? He said, I started investing late. I started investing late, that's his greater regret. They went ahead and asked, please, at what age? Because they want to satisfy their curiosity. At what age, Buffett, have you started investing? Buffett said, at age 11. Anna Obeka. At age 11, I started investing. So the quote he put was, I started investing at age 11. All this while, I was wasting my life. That's his favorite quote. So if the average age here is 25, subtract 11 years from it and understand somebody's philosophy. Because he has the mindset to create wealth. He knows that starting earlier, the better. Please, how many of you here are ready today to start? Today and now. Because when I was coming, I came with my data bank colleague to come and help those who may have this attitude develop today and say that, yes, like Warren Buffett who started at 11 and is regretting, 
I want to start even an average of 25 today. And it is possible. Because 25 means you have 35 years to retirement. 35 years you can make some gains. Please, the remaining I say spent. 10 is tight. The next 10 is emergency. The next 10 is the multi-purpose account. Account that you all your big dreams are inside. All your big dreams. I want to go to Dubai. Yes, it's possible. But if you don't have the money, it is only possible in your head. Please, money does a lot of things. So, in fact, when you are poor, you have a lot of limitations. But when you create wealth, all the world is in your hand. You decide. So now, some people have decided that this world is not enough. It's not interesting. They want to stay in space. I'm going to stay in Mars for one, hour, one, uh, one month and come back to the world. The world that we call Earth. Yes, it is money. When you even want to cross Togo, problem because you don't, <laughs> you don't have the money to pay there. So spend 30%, uh, 70% of your income. And if you don't do, look at it. If 70% is not enough for your expenditure, it means you are eating your future today. And when the future comes, then that you realize what the question is saying. It might be too late. Let's see the nice slides. Am I concluding? An average person earns money and spends it. Good person or people save money, but extraordinary people, like us that want to develop the attitude to create cash, we will live, invest their money. And the last one says, the poor works for money, but for the rich, Money works for them. Thank you so much. My name is Yamani. Oh, you can do it better. Okay. Let's allow for few three questions. We we have just about five minutes to ten minutes of closing. So if you have a question, oh, you have touched well, so they don't have question. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three. Okay, come. So the first three come. Is there any other person who wants to ask question? Okay. One, two, three. You didn't raise your hand, but you're here. No, I raised my hand. Oh, okay. In fact, I presented myself <laughs> in person. Okay, then. Yes, yeah, start. Thank you very much for the presentation. My first, my, okay, let me just ask one question. What is the best investment now, like today, if I want to invest? What package would you recommend? Okay, second question. Okay. Second question. The same question, eh? Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Jama. I want to ask this question. I'm starting with a topic that said facts about wealth creation. I have a lot of questions, but I just want to ask one because of time factor. That you can't be rich by the size of your salary. And I really understand that, and I'm aware of that. But I know that um, the world wealth people didn't make it through salary. But we, the youth of today, we found ourselves working under employment, which um, the salary is what we're depending on. I remember one of my mentors did say that um, salaries are being paid to us to forget our dreams, which is very true. So, I follow my mentor. I have Uban King as my mentor and other people. I want to become like one of the world rich people. But before you become like them, you have to follow what they did. Okay? So far as Jack Mad also didn't make it through Sarah, who is the richest person now in China. Um, following the story, I get to see that uh, we have a lot to do. So now, me not to um, depend on salary, or we need to depend on salary. What next am I to do? Am I to also create something different for my own self to do? 
to become someone better in future because that is what the world rich people are doing for us to forget about salary that is what i want to ask you thank you please my question is what is the difference between emergency fund and an investment fund okay please if you have this opportunity and you do not ask the question maybe you keep the questions with you forever the difference between emergency and investment is similar like what's the difference between watch and food no please i'm explaining something see watch is a form of food but food is not washing please do get it oh watch is one part of the food but food is not washing if you said you have eaten food it does not necessarily mean you have eaten watch but if you have eaten watch necessarily you have eaten food please do get it <laughs> so emergency fund is just one of the funds under investment so investment is just a broad concept uh -huh. and sometimes some of these things that we talk about especially with the question somebody asks which of this is best as we here started and young people like us the best product to answer that question is the mutual funds mutual funds and the reason is that mutual funds allow us to be able to invest irrespective of our income level as low as 10 cities you can invest but there are other investment categories that you need fifty thousand or more now if we zoom everybody said okay fifty thousand or more other than that forget it it means a lot of individuals in ghana cannot even invest but believe you me somebody will start with 10 cities and gradually gradually by the end of the year he's able to save 10 cities per man he has gotten about 120 ghana hey, that is thousand two hundred no, 10 cities a man will give you 120 Ghana. Yes, 120 Ghana invested for a month, uh, for a year, plus an interest of 20 Ghana, make it 140. Ghana, Ghana, the person is growing. But let me ask you, all of us say that we use phone. Assuming an average, monthly we use a data of 5 cities. Oh, why? Abro, please, anybody to just give us uh, his own experience. Abro. It's, it's more. It's not average. You spend on monthly. Mm, more than like fifty cents. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank God I did not collapse. Do you know what he's saying? He didn't even say fifty Ghana. He said, oh, more than like fifty cities. A month. If I go ahead and ask him how much have you saved for yourself in your future, he may perhaps will not give you an answer, or you give me okay say no i shouldn't come so that it will be a question for him now if you can spend 50 ghana cities on phone either data browsing and what's happened we don't say don't do it but if you can do that and you cannot cater for your future remember i said that you are eating that future today the future will come but assuming you said okay i used to spend 50 cities a month on data and call credit now going forward after today I want to reduce it to maybe 20 cities a month. And I will invest the remaining 30 Ghana every month for my future. In the next one year, 30 by 12 months, that is money. That happens if the emergencies, assuming your phone ring now, it's an emergency issue. That is the account you fall on to save yourself. And all the dreams that we have, somebody dreamt of this building and it has come to pass because there was money to fund it. A lot of us, I didn't even go far because of the time. A lot of us say, even when they say, church, we want to support the church. You have the heart, but you don't have the, the pocket. And when you have the heart and you don't have the pocket, it doesn't matter. No action. So please, we have a lot of audacious goals. All the ideas and entrepreneurial ventures we want to embark on. But if you don't invest money for those things, it won't happen. There was another question on, I think I've answered two now, let's the last one there was one on the one was the best the best fund to invest now is a mutual fund 
You have also asked the question between emergency fund and investment. And I said invest, emergency is one of the investment products. Then there was another third one on. Yes. You asked the question on. Depending on salary. Yes. See, in Genesis, there is one stream of river that flows. When it reaches one level, it branches into four. And the reason the Bible says God intended not the garden to wither. Please do get the concept. Let me let me let me go back a bit. God decided to create a garden in order for it to flourish forever. One stream of income was divided into other streams to water the garden forever so that it will not wither. The scenario is to that. The salary you get, that could be your primary income for you to create other streams of income. Please do get me. So anybody who has joined the world richest class or Ghana riches, it's not because of the salary. If you were talking about people who earn the salary, then the president of the Ghana, uh, the country, or the ministers and the parliamentarians, but they are not the richest. Why? Because it is salary. And salary says, take and forget about your dreams. And somebody says that salary will earn you a living, but your investment will create you a fortune. Those who have made it are in the fortune class. That's why when you check, they say the fortune 400 in the world. The least that are there are not including my name because I have not reached there. But by the grace of God, I was born in the village as we speak now. There is no light there. But I told myself that so far as Jesus Christ was born in a manger, but he did not live the manger lifestyle all of his life. 30 years, he was able to create an impact that Matusala in his 9,000 or whatever years cannot do. I am from the same village, but years is just counting. One day, somebody will hear about me. Somebody will watch me. Somebody will read me. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you have another question? Okay. This is the last one, maybe. You have a follow-up. The, the best investment now, the percentage is okay, so that if you, you have some cash there that you want to go and invest, okay. My friend has a cash, and he wants the best and the rates to be able to invest. Then let's get you to so let there be some quotations if it's with respect to that. Okay. Because we are Christians here, if you want to establish a business which is a truthful business for which your income is genuine, uh, I bet you collapse. So a lot of people are cutting corners. So a lot of business people I know, if you go behind what they do, even the banks, you can attest the fact that you are not being fair to your customers mostly. Am I lying? Yeah. yeah. So, yes, and then sometimes you realize that if you are trying to keep money or save money, that's what you are saying. By the time you save it for whatever purpose you are saving for, inflation has already consumed so I've been advising people that if you have the money and you are keeping it, whatever you want to use to buy now, buy it now. Or get it now. Else, if you say, I want to wait, but the next time you go, even tomorrow if you go, prices may go up again. So the investment has become almost, let me say, useless or baseless. Thank you very much. That is your thinking. Let's hear him. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I will pardon you for not knowing. Uh -huh. Because you have messed up a lot of words which are differently meaning. You've said that saving some money now for some time would lose its value. But remember when I was talking about the facts, I said the number three that inflation does not respect any form of savings. And when I reached the attitude that is right for cash creation, I said investment. The moment you mess up investment with savings, we can only pardon you because you do not know. It's like saying that I'm Moses and I'm Barcelona are the same. 
The doctor will know that you do not know. He will only just pardon you. So you are pardoned. Yes. <laughs> so in one of Christians, we don't use savings. Because savings is not respected by inflation. What it means is that if you have saved 100 Ghana cities as we speak now, the value is now up to 77 Ghana. That is savings. That is why I did not say savings is the way to create wealth. It's investment. And when investment, you leverage on the law of compound returns. In effect, there are two forces that influence the value of money. And it is not the name of the money we use to buy things. It is the value. Are you here? So when you enter Suntech or any supermarket around, it is not how much you mess in. It is what value that money you mess in carries. And because there are two forces that influence the value of your money, you choose which of these forces. One of the force is the force of inflation. Another force is the force of compound returns. So you choose. So when you choose the route, I, I, I wish there is a marker here in the board so that I will demonstrate to you these things. Yes, and because of time. Now, my brother also said that um, he want to know the exact product. And the quotations, yes. Mutual funds by their nature do not have quotations. Investment that we give quotations, they are fixed in nature. Why we can give the quotation is that all the variables are fixed and known. You must you heard me mention that some of the investment you need a minimum of fifty thousand. That category of investment, when you bring the money, you know how much the returns rate is. And you even know how much you can earn at the end of the period. In the basic school, we were told that simple interest is principal times 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 rates. All the variables are known. The moment another variable is unknown, you can't find the interest rate. Or you can't find the interest if any other, other variables is missing. Please do you get it. So the concept of the basic school education that we give us on simple interest is for fixed investment. But not all investments are fixed. The concept of the food. We have generals and many, many kind of food. One will not necessarily taste the other. Like, oh, why is Jollof not having a soup? I want soup for my Jollof. Yes, maybe you want to eat different food, but not Jollof. Jollof has its own makeup. Please, you get the concept. So, mutual funds by their nature, they don't have stated rate, stated amount. That is even why I said, even as low as 10 cities, you can start. And they are good for us. At the end of the year, you are able to measure how much it has performed. But you cannot measure the rate ahead of the time. Because all investment that use rates, we assume that the rates for tomorrow, next week, and next month is like today. Then we fix it. Oh, please, how many of you have done fixed deposits or treasury bills before? Hey, so we don't do investments. So how many of us have done cryptocurrencies and, and all the Ponzi schemes? Send me 100, tomorrow I'll give you 300. On phone, they send your WhatsApp. Send 100. Tomorrow we'll make it 300 for you. You have done that one. And so it means you were not doing investment all this while. You say, next way. Hey. Uh, the, inform the information I'm getting means that you were not doing investment all this while. So we're doing for us. Yes. Oh, so what do you what is this new mention? Please, he mentioned Star Life. And I said Star Life is not an investment company. It's an insurance company. And there's a difference between investment and insurance. Oh, this concept of the identity. Please, if you get the facts right, you will know, you will understand. Oh. You see that my brother said that we have not been fair to them. And when I started to explain, he got the difference. That it was he himself not being fair because he was not doing what is right. Oh, I wish there is more time. Uh -huh. Please, in my hand here, I've published some of my books. My colleague is here to help a few of you who will be ready today to start to fill your form. So if you are ready, I don't know how we we'll close. If we can be here to fill the form, he will distribute to all of us to fill right now. If that you will go out and maybe meet him or no, I don't know. But I'll ask uh, Reverend and see. In my hand, I have one of the books called Business Pack, 
for those who want to venture into entrepreneurship is 25 cities. I have 21 principles of success. 21 cities. 25 cities, rather. I have investment diary. All you need to know about investment and all the categories and whatever. We have retire rich, how to manage your wealth. 30 Ghana. Then I have career wallet. Those of you who want to work as employees, your CV writing, your uh, interview skills and whatever, please, you are also covered. So please, when we are done, you can see me for a copy if you want. Or you can meet me at the office at Data Bank, Cape Coast office. That's currently where I am. Please let me listen to Reverend. If they may be interested to, to, to be shared with the forms, or what is the next move? Some are ready that they want to start today, but we don't know how you are closing. We, we are closing the session now. So those of you who are interested, immediately after the session, you can see him. Uh, then, yes. Let's clap for our brother. He has enlightened us in the area of finance and for him if we give him time he can talk about money 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 and you know money is good isn't it so i hope you have learned a lot and you are going to put them into practice so that by the time we go for the next quadrennial youth convention of this nature nobody will come and complain about registration because you have invested and even the interest can pay for 10 20 people that you have not touched the seed money. Yeah. <laughs> There's something I want to make. Uh, uh, just a message so that. Okay. Please, something small just dropped my ear. And that is perhaps young people, we may be investing in cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are not legitimate investment in Ghana. But because you are a global citizen, you have the right to just log in and invest. When you are investing and you do not understand what you are investing in, that is risk. So the investment in cryptos are very high. The risk is so high that the returns are also very good. So when you are doing investment that the returns are so good, understand also that the risk is that bad. 2018, I advise some young people like you, please, if you want to do safe investment, do it whereby your own money is safe. Then any other addition is your returns. Some listen, some do not listen. Some invested in cryptos in 2018. Compare with the investment they are doing in Ghana and say, oh, Ghana is just a peanut. But in December, one of the CEO died with the password. That is all. Because it's not an office that you say, oh, Data Bank has done this, so let me go and ask them. The moment you cannot log in your, your internet platform, that's all. That's how risky it could be. Oh. <laughs> the person died with a <laughs> password. So that is the risk. We shall invite a big man to, to say something. Thank you, Mr. Germani. Let's give it up for Mr. Germani. It's, it's clear Mr. Germani is very passionate about uh, investment and uh, I like your impartial presentation until he spoke many of us didn't know he was from data bank other people would have kept telling you come but you are very impartial you just gave it to us as it was and we are very grateful I want to also encourage us I don't know that I'm the one who takes the light out the last time I was talking the light went out <laughs> but uh, the last part was like a joke, but that is the risk. All of us, I was laughing aloud because I was like, wow, somebody dies with your password, all your money is gone, man. <laughs> but it's a good time to save. Think about it sincerely. The little you can start with would help. I had a colleague who started mutual funds with Data Bank. Several years, I mean, 20 years now, that's when he wanted to go and take us. It was just like a joke, and he kept doing it. But the money he got out of it, when he needed something, was huge. So you've got some, I think, I want to encourage you. Look, the little you can, what is the lowest you can start with? Believe me. All of us here buy data more than 10 CDs. 
a week. You see, you're looking at me, say, uh, we're having a week, but understand. So we can start. I want to encourage you. The same way we are making, in, we are making in spiritual investment sincerely. I think poverty is not our calling. Every Christian cannot be poor. Sincerely, because the God we serve is an awesome God. But you need wisdom to be able to do it. And he has provided us with directions. I don't want us just to listen and go. Take a step. Or make a commitment. Pick up a form. Is that okay? Try and do something. If you don't have the money now, just make a commitment that I would make. I'll follow up on this one. But as many of you have it, minimum of 10, you pick up the form. Because once you commit, as you go on, you can increase. Is that also? You can. Exactly. And I think now everything is uh, online. So you can do that. We, we are very, very grateful. We'll would definitely call you again some other time that you keep talking to us about things like this. God bless you. Thank you.